I want to show you some automation tips in TradeStation. I'm going to be using Night Trader and I'm going to be working in a um, simulated account so we can play around. So I'm going to show you this. So Night Trader has a $700 profit target, a $1,500 stop loss, hit its profit target. And I'm going to show you how to synchronize automation. In order to do that, I'm going to change the strategy rules just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to go format strategies. So this will look like it still has an open position. So let's take a look. Um, let's set the profit target to 2000 just for demonstration purposes. Would you like to disable automation? Um, for now, I'm going to say no. So automation is on. And so, for example, maybe you lose connection with the Internet and... It comes back online and you're going to get this question and it's going to pop up here and it's going to say all right exit this position do not exit this position you need to read this most people will just take a look at this and say do not exit this position if you have a real world position so you would say exit this position if you had a real world position that, was, that you wanted to synchronize with this so for example if you did not want to for example right now I don't have a position in the sim account and so maybe I don't want to be a part of this trade so maybe I just want to take the next trade so if I want to take the next trade I would say do not exit this position and automation would start on the next trade so I'll just say do not exit this position for now actually so do not exit this position for now automation is on but it won't take exit this trade so what if I want to exit this trade though um, I will disable automation disable strategy automation and I'm going to get in on a market order to simulate a real world trade and so there's several different ways you can go to view order bar I'm working in TradeStation 9.1 so I'll, I'll make this video for other platforms as well so ESH20 you can place um, orders market orders stop market uh, stop limit stop market and so let's just go with the market order say you are right at your price level or below or maybe you got out and then wanted to get back in but you want to synchronize you don't have a position in the market and your strategy does have a position and you want to go long and get in on this position and you want to synchronize it with automation so what can you do and then you would take this you just say buy one at the market or if you want to use limit order you could you can say buy one at the market so we bought one so you see it's in we're in now. So bought one at the market. Now say you want to synchronize your automation so that it exits with the automation. Right here. I, do, I, I don't confirm each trade. Otherwise you have to sit there and watch every single trade. So here's what you can do in this scenario. So um, you wait for it to come back up and you'll get that question once again. Remember the first time I said uh, when I did this, when I did not have a position and I wanted to take the next trade, I said, do not exit this position. And it would help to read this as well. So now that I have a position and I, wanna, I want the position to exit with automation, I'm going to say, exit this position. And so now it will exit with automation. And if you get d uh, disconnected from your internet, it's important to have good internet, but if you have disconnection from internet, you will get that pop-up message. It's important to say exit with automation. So if a swing trade strategy holds a position over the weekend, um, you might want to close down your trade station. You'll still have your positions on. And then Sunday night before the market opens, start up your trade station, turn your automation on, and when it asks you that, qu asks you that question, say exit this position, and you will be resynchronized with your automation. Um, so that it will exit with automation on that strategy. So that is one way to do it. I'm going to show you additional ways to enter a trade. So you could say, you could pull up the matrix right here. And you can see I've been doing the simulation mode on these uh, stock index portfolios and set some nice gains here um, with, a big tr with some big trades overnight. Um, but uh, you could use a matrix to enter a trade. So for example, um, Say so you had another strategy that, that goes short. So you sell one at the market. Now you have one strategy that's long, one strategy that's short, and then that short trade exits. Um, now Night Trader is still being automated. So um, say you have a strategy that's short. If Night Trader exited, um, it would sell one and you would be short at the market. But um, And so what if the short trade exited now? So the short trade exited by automation. You buy one at the market. Now you're long again. 
So you're, you'll still automate. Once, as long as automation is on and you have exit that position, doesn't matter how many strategies you're running. Um, it will take trades as they come, and you will have multiple, for example, multiple strategy automation. You could be flat with one strategy long, one strategy short, and exit both of those positions um, will change your will change your market position. So if one strategy is long, one strategy is short, then um, if the long strategy exits, then you'll be short again. If the short strategy exits, then you'll be long again. Um, another way is the trade bar. I never use the trade bar. So you can, let's see, uh, if, I'm not sure, even sure. Um, let's see. We can go with, I'll save that for another video, but you can do, uh, let's see, chart trading. Actually, you can do chart trading. So you can click on chart trading and, um, okay, so I'm having an error on my side. So disregard what I'm saying there. So I don't ever use chart trading. I either use the matrix or the order bar above. So there's many different ways to do the same thing, and this is the way I recommend doing it. When you have, when you lose synchronization, you just make sure your real world position matches, and then you turn on automation and you say exit this position, and make sure you read that. Do not click the other one, or it won't exit your position. Um, if you get stopped out, you'll be, you'll still be in the market, and and uh, it won't exit your position. And if it continues to go down, you will lose a lot. So. That is, that is the strategy automation setup that you can do with any strategy, including Night Trader.